Let me know if this situation sounds familiar. You get one chameleon. You're like, oh my gosh, you're so awesome. I love you so much. And I want you to have a friend. So then you get a second chameleon. And then you're like, maybe I should put you together. Or you go to the pet store and you're like, I'm gonna go and get one chameleon. But really they're selling two chameleons and how could you not buy two chameleons? So now you're trying to decide, should I keep them together? Should I keep them separate? Should they be roomies? Should, be they, should they be neighbors? Today we're gonna be going over, should you house chameleons together? So the simple answer to the question, should chameleons be housed together is no. Chameleons are not social creatures. They do best by themselves. And it can actually be stressful for them if they're housed together. What I recommend is putting your chameleon in two separate enclosures, as well as putting a visual barrier between the two chameleons. Because if they can see each other, that's still causing them stress. Say you have a male and a female. The male is going to want to try and mate with the female. Chameleons also have territories in the wild. So they're going to want to protect their territory. One chameleon could be dominant over the other and this one could start declining in health. So just put a visual barrier. Um, I have a hybrid enclosure, so it has solid sides, so that creates a visual barrier between all my chameleons. Some people will just put a piece of cardboard or black paper, something like that, in between their chameleons. That way they can't see each other and then they'll be good to go. Another thing to keep in mind is that chameleons are not social creatures and they do best alone. They do not benefit from being together. They're not a communal species. They're not like a pack species like a dog or humans where we get benefits from being with each other. When a chameleon hatches out of the egg, they're on their own. The mom chameleon will just lay their eggs, leave them alone, they hatch, and the chameleon is on their own from day one. They do not raise their young together. They do best by themselves. So you do not need to bring your chameleon home a friend or give them company or a neighbor or anything like that. It's super important that you separate chameleons because if you have a male and a female cohabitating, you're going to end up with baby chameleons. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like if you have a male and a female, you're gonna have babies and that's a whole nother process. If you're trying to do that intentionally, that's a whole different video, a whole different story. But if you're just keeping chameleons to enjoy them as is, you need to keep them separate to avoid having baby chameleons. Even if your chameleons were housed together at the pet store or they're not showing individual signs of stress or maybe their brother and sister, do not put them together. Do not house them together. It's still going to be stressful for them even if they're for, even if they're related and even if they were living together at the pet store, although that was still a stressful environment for them. Just because your chameleon isn't showing visible signs of stress, being cohabitated or being able to see each other, does not mean that they aren't still feeling the after effects of stress. Stress can be shown physically on the outside through hiding, puffing, gaping, hissing, you get the idea. But there can also be internal stressors, right? You know, their heart rate is higher. They're having fight or flight, which is causing you know an increase in, in hormones and things like that. So that's causing internal stress and damage as well to the health of your chameleon. So the moral of the story is if you have two chameleons, give them their own homes, their own enclosures, their own territories, and make sure there's a visual barrier between the two and then they'll be happy chameleons living their happy chameleon lives. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe soon when I post a new video. And you can follow Neptune and all my chameleons on Instagram at Neptune the Chameleon. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day. Bye. Yep, that was gonna happen.